Is this you? Are you being tempted by those horrible selling websites? What if I told you making money doesn't need to be difficult? All you have to do is look for unusual money makers. Reserve is already well known for being a great map for rats to make money. But today I'm going to specifically focus on this part of the map. Some of you might guess that I'm going to farm Gluhar, but there is a very simple money run you can do. Since the price of fuel has hit a record high, items that I used to barter or craft fuel have also gone up, and you can find most of them in filing cabinets. Also, since filing cabinets recently got buffed to spawn diaries and other valuables, it has become very profitable to search them. Another part of this loot run is 6 PC cases, because a lot of people are still building their Bitcoin mines at the moment, a lot of PC parts are still worth quite a bit. And if you're lucky, you might also find a graphics card. Also one room has a chance of spawning a phase array, which are almost 2 mil at the moment. And depending on the route you take, you can also search 8-10 to 10 jackets, which can have valuable keys and strangely enough can spawn the 2x2 fuel. Here is an example load that you, that you can use for this run. I would recommend taking a big rig, especially one with 2x2 slots, any contacts you like, the RB MP22 key, which is super cheap for how much stuff is behind it, and any pistol you like or a cheap rifle like an SKS, and that comes to about a total of 250k. Also, taking a dog's case can increase your profits by a lot, because many of the valuable items in filing cabinets can be put inside it. I spawned in one of the best locations for this run. Just need to keep my ears open for anyone else that spawned in the area. I heard him on metal, so he could be in the garage trying to get to the second floor. Okay, I haven't heard him for a minute, so I think he might be just gone. Still, better be careful, I guess.
think 681s are about 500 around, so this ends up less than 10k on the fleet if I put it up, so might as well dump it. Okay, CPU fans are exactly what we are after. Paracord? That's really nice. Okay, I think I want to risk it and just drop down. Ok, 
Okay, looks like he's gone, or never even was he in the first place. Okay, uh, let's unlock the door. Well, only got one AK and not even silenced, so that's a bit unlucky. And no good gun parts. One that you should keep an eye out for is the Troy PTW, uh, which is worth around 80 to 100k because you need it for gunsmith quests. I'm still not used to seeing lighters and things that are worth anything. Back to looting.
what the fu- <sighs> Nice, the game crashed. Okay, I'm back. Only took like five minutes to reconnect. Rechargeable batteries used to be good, but they nerfed the trade up from Skier. Used to be just one for one for an ADA, but now it's one battery and two chainlets, which just sucks. Circuit boards are great value, they're around 15k right now. Since I've got so much space left, I might as well take the battery even though it's only like 10k. If you're feeling extra risky, you can loot the boxes on the roof here, but I wouldn't recommend it since they made a reserve part of the shooter below in the room, and you're easily seen from the bottom here. Nice, another CPU turn. And we made it. I'm starting with 340k already in my bank. And this wasn't even an ideal run, because we didn't find out the big items. The game crashed, which cost me about 5 minutes. And I'm also left with about 10 empty slots. But we still made a nice 330k profit. So you can easily make around 1 mil an hour doing this. Especially if you extract multiple times, because then the cost of gear is nothing. <laughs> 